Need fast, cheap, reliable MUD coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. <laughs> Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot. Still not the Madden cheese as always. I uh, got a redo of my top five run plays today. Uh, since the patch came out about a week ago, they specifically addressed a lot of run plays, whether it's the QB draw or mostly just stretch plays in general. So I wanted to redo my top five uh, and give you guys uh, what I think are the top five best run plays to use right now post patch because defenses definitely react differently to run plays and you can really take advantage of that so i'm going to do that today i'd also like to do a top five pass plays again but i want to make sure that you guys actually want to see that so if you want to see that let me know in the comment section hit the like button because i have a ton of explosive pass plays that i could continue uh, to pull together and make a top five video because the first one i did was very successful other than that we're in the green bay packers playbook right now but whatever team you see me using that play is going to be in that particular playbook so going forward here, just remember that going throughout this video uh, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to start off one of the better plays, in my opinion, to use in this particular uh, post-patch era is the, um, the I-Form Wing. I used to use the Stretch Alert Lookie a lot, it still has its place, but I really find like the Halfback Power G is one of the better plays now. So I'm in practice mode right now, but the patch specifically said that the update was really only in gameplay. So this particular play might not work as well in practice mode as it does in gameplay. So just try to keep that in mind. I will try to have links to gameplays of me using these plays in the description below if you want to check that out. So like I was saying, in gameplay, these interior defenders like the edge, you know, the defensive ends, the the in the edge linebackers a lot of times they put a lot of extra effort now to getting to the outside which in practice mode they might not necessarily do so this play probably won't work as good uh, in practice mode as it does in game so a lot of times based off of that amount of over pursuing it'll create a lot of run lanes inside uh, which is something that like I said you're kind of using the patch against itself but I don't expect to see that like I said I'm in practice mode I'm not really going to see those ex those same explosive lanes that I do in gameplay so if you want to see that see this in gameplay check that out link in the description below I'll definitely have it uh, but for now take my word for it very explosive in game another play and that's out of the single back doubles Y off uh, the play itself is the 0-1 trap. This is a play that's been good since uh, the play, since the game came out. This particular play, uh, I think this formation is new, but I'm not 100% sure about that. But this particular play is really cheesy. So we're going to pick that. We're going to pick the 0-1 trap. This is really going to work best when, uh, I mean, you can stop a play like this if you really stack the box and take away any gap on the defensive side. If you want to do, if you want to come out in something like uh, three, two, six nickel double A gap or something like that, it's going to have a lot of success against a play like this because there's no real gaps. But if there are gaps, you're going to have success against a play like this, and you're going to see here you're just going to be walking this down the center of the field. Now that was one of the lesser runs right there. Uh, I, like here, here we get that nickel double perfect. I mean, I, like I said, I put it random. This is the nickel double a gap look. Like I said, I mean, there's still holes, but they're going to be a lot less. Uh, that that'll do a little bit better job. If there's a user rovering the middle there. This is going to be especially good against things like cover two, whether it's cover two man, cover two zone, uh, which is something that a lot of people are using right now. Uh, is cover two man especially. So this is something where you're going to have a lot of success off of that. The hole's not always right in front of you, right over the center like the diagram says. Uh, as you can see in these last two plays, I had to really run it outside. But there's always going to be a hole. That's the bottom line. And you're really getting, like I said, you typically get to the safeties before anybody's even around you. It's some of the more unique plays like the power O. Now this looks like an all-out man blitz, uh, which is perfect for the power O. Because all I really want to do is flip this play with the right stick. I just hit the right stick to the left or, you know, hit it to the right. That's all you got to do to flip the play back and forth. Forth, and this is going to basically be your look now when you have a formation like this because of the three tight end set a lot of times the defensive alignment is like off the kilter like you can see right here the second I motion him out it goes back to a normal alignment I'm going to use that against my opponent that's pretty much the point here and that's one of the reasons why I don't even think you can find stretch plays in this formation anymore uh, because there's there's no real um, you know the way that this particular uh, formation sets up you can only really find stretch alert lookies that you can't flip the play and I think it's because of this uh, this setup that I'm showing you right now because it's kind of it's kind of a cheat code based off of the fact I mean that guy got kicked out way further than I was expecting but you can see there's nothing really over here and that's kind of the point the formation is really kind of cheating the defense and that's all based off of the fact that you don't really have 
um, you know, the ability to control that on the defensive side. You can make some shifts. A lot of times, certain formations, you can't even shift back to normal on your own. Like this formation right here, I can tell it's not on its normal alignment until I allow it to be, which is really a tough call for a defense uh, when you can't even control your own defensive alignment. Uh, but that's, you know, that's, that's, that's the power of this formation. So I'm going to go ahead on this play. I'm mean, going to have a lane right in front of me. I'm not going to overthink it. This is really a good look. The power O can really be used like a stretch. And this looks like a cover three, maybe a blitzing off the side. So I can still use this as like a stretch play, which is one of the things that makes this play so successful is you have that ability. You can really go either way. But like I said, it's really, to me, I'm really using it like a, a kind of like a, a counter play or like a stretch play just based off the fact that I'm controlling this defensive alignment. Now, a lot of times that guy's getting kicked out, which I'll take. You can see it's, I'm having a lot of success with it. But a lot of times you just have to run to the edge. The next play, and this is still one of my favorites, is the shovel option out of the gun Heisman. This is also called uh, the split slot or the split twins, I think, in, the, in custom, because a lot of people always ask that. So you want to make sure you at least put a running back at this spot. I think they updated this. It used to be uh, the quarterback was at one of these running back spots. You had the backup quarterback. Now you have a fullback, so you can switch that out. Put in a, a fast running back. I think one of my fastest is going to be J.K. Dobbins. So we'll pick that. And like I said, the shovel options in play. On defense, we'll go random. Um, we'll try to match. We'll go random 4-3. Now this play, you can pitch this play either way. But ultimately, I find the best pitch is pretty much always going to be this guy here. You can see the running back. Um, he, he just, if it's a man coverage especially, there's nobody out here. And on that last play, the quarterback did a great job of finishing the play. I mean, he turns into a blocker a lot of times, which is terrific. I mean, if I can get the quarterback to block for me like that on a play like this, um, it's just going to be an explosive run play. Especially, that wasn't even a man coverage. That last one was a zone coverage. But if you get a man coverage look, which is what 90% of people are running right now, this is going to be a really easy play. A lot of times, I mean, you can you can get stuck with the pitch. Like right there, he really crashed in fast. But if you get that defender to hesitate a little bit, wait to the last second to get that pitch out. I mean, this is just stealing yards. One of the best run plays in the game, without a doubt. It's been that way all year. This particular play was one of the reasons that the Ravens was one of the first playbooks that I used. Right there, I mean, I did not make the quarterback didn't get a chance to come out and make the block, but he essentially was a blocker because he took out two defenders. I'll go to the replay to show you what I'm talking about. As you can see right here, I mean, he did not get out, but based off the fact that I held the ball long enough, if you hold it to the last second, like I said, I'm running right at these guys because I want them to cave in on me. And then I get that pitch out and both of these guys tackle me or at least one tackles me and the other one was at least coming in enough that he's not in a position to make a play. You do have the option to pitch it the other way, which actually the quarterback is in. I thought that, I don't know, I thought I took him out. I thought they, they patched that or whatever. But yeah, Griffin is in there. You could go the other way with it, but I don't really find, I mean, you lose, you lose all your acceleration. I don't really find a lot of value in it. I think it's best to either just hold it with uh, with the with the with Lamar Jackson, but you can see. I mean, obviously there is opportunity to have it. It's just a lot less consistent, in my opinion. You can see right there. I mean, like I said, I probably want to get a running back there too, just to take away any opportunities for fumbles. Uh, but there's really so much to be had here. I mean, this is just one of the easiest, most explosive running plays in the game, uh, and it's been that way all year. This is something. If you want to patch something, EA, this is something that you could patch. Another really great play out of the Ravens play, but kind of a trick play once again that's really going to maximize a lot of people running uh, man coverages is out of the pistol strong slot and the particular play is going to be uh, if I can find it here the triple option this is something that once again you want to want to replace your fullback I typically put uh, my power back at the fullback spot and then my speed back at the at the halfback spot so there's a couple different looks here um, I mean the, 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 the explosive play once again is going to be the pitch and you want to really save that for man coverage looks, which is what most people are running this this time of year anyway. So you just want to, like on a play like this, obviously it's not a man coverage. Uh, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to take the safe play, I'm going to hold the A or X button, depending on what system you're on, and take the safe inside run. It kind of runs like an inside zone, uh, and it's very successful. I mean, a lot of times I'm having, you know, there's, there's a hole right over the center. You can take it there. You can try to take it outside. You can try to swing it really wide. Uh, I mean, it's something that you can really have success all over the field uh, with just that particular portion of the play. So if you get a, a man coverage look or something where there's less uh, less people on the on the right side, this is going to be a really explosive play to the running back here uh, where I just flip it out. And I didn't really run it that well as I wanted to really hold the ball longer with the quarterback, but you can see how explosive this is. 
So we can do that. I mean, here's only one guy out there. I got faith that I can make him miss. Like I said, once again, we're going to go ahead. We're going to get that pitch out the very last second. Hold as long as we can so that we take out a defender with the quarterback. And you can see how successful this play is. I wish the pitch button was on the other side. That's about the only issue I have with this particular setup uh, is it's actually the left bumper for some reason. But I wish it was the right bumper. It would feel more authentic. So that's it. That's the vid. Uh, like I was saying, if you guys want to help me out by hitting the uh, hitting the like button, or take, let me know in the comment section if you want to see updates for uh, my other top five videos like my top five pass plays top five defenses uh you know things like that let me know in the comment section with the like button other than that thanks for watching man my shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bits and more link in the description below